I want to give you an overview of CBIO Portal, which is a platform that helps you analyze and visualize and download cancer genomics datasets, which I think is convenient when you want to conduct research through publicly available data. So let's go through an example here. As you can see, there are currently 147 cancer genomics studies and you can download the genomics data for each one of them. So we don't want to download it now. We just want to, let's say we want to uh, see the frequency of mutation of a certain gene in a certain type of cancer. So let's search for breast. And there are currently nine studies with cancerous genomics data. And I'm going to select them all. Here I'm going to select mutation and copy number alterations for the type of data that we want to have. And I'm going to search for the TP53 gene which codes for p53 a tumor suppressor protein i'm gonna hit submit okay so we can see this gene is highly mutated in many of these studies, in many of these nine studies. Like for example, in this one, you can see it is altered in 55% of 29 cases. Well, the sample size isn't too big, but if we look at this one, well, this one isn't either, but this one's bigger. so. 38% of the samples have the, P50, the TP53 mutated and 38.6% is 400 is 183 cases and this one is 36% out of 2051 cases which is like P53, TP53 is mutated in 740 samples, which is quite a big frequency. We can also select to see the absolute counts. This is for the Metabrix study. And the paper, let's click here and see the, the summary of the available data. So 36% frequency of mutation. Here's a summary. the type of cancer and this this refers to only to the mutation not the copy number alterations let's look at mutations it's gonna take a while to load And apparently it froze. Hopefully not for long.
So there are a lot of things that you can do with on C Bio Portal. Let's just wait. You can also see the survival rates in each individual sample. Um, the data is anonymized, so you only so you have a sample ID, not the actual name of the person, which wouldn't be appropriate. You can also select for other columns that you want to see. Uh, but there is another thing that I wanted to show you inside of this. I think it was the co-expression. So what other genes are co-expressed when TP53 is mutated? The reason it takes a while to get the data, I think, is that it has to query the database, which is big, and it contains a lot of information. Okay. It wasn't here. I think it was the network and network visualization. So here's P53, and you can see the network of other genes that are related to it. Let's try and see other genes that are mutated in at least 10% of the samples. We're going to hide drugs. You can also show all drugs and it, it will show you which drug either approved or not approved acts on a specific pathway. But we're going to hide the drugs for now. So P53 is mutated in 36% of the cases. Others that are highly mutated are MYC, 26%, MDM4, and PRKAB. You can see the different shades suggesting how mutated each of these genes are and also you you have a list of them right here you can go even further and look for genes that are mutated in at least 15 percent of the cases mostly the same So yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with the data available on CBIO portal. This was just to show you some of what you can do here. So if you have questions or if you think I could help you with, with this, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.